lecture recycle. My demonstration topic is a stylistic analysis of Gong Xiaoting's selected piano works. An increasing number of Chinese composers are being recognized on the international stage, and more and more scholars are interested in studying Chinese compositions. Still, studies that focus on the analysis of Gong Xiaoting's compositions and her compositional style remain sparse. The attention of the current study involves an analysis of one piano suite and a fugue by Gong Xiaoting. These pieces reflect her main compositional style from different perspectives, including Chinese pentatonic mood, national ethnic musical element, Chinese music aesthetic, and the fusion of Western and Chinese music techniques. Since no one has summarized her featured compositional style from multiple pieces or paid attention to the perspective of piano teaching and performance of her piano works, this works outline Gong Xiaoting's personal compositional style from different angles and will provide scholars and pianists who are not familiar with her music and compositional style with a comprehensive analysis and performance suggestions. Besides, it's filling a knowledge gap found in both Chinese and English research about Gong Xiaoting's piano composition and musical style. The purpose of this study was to explore the stylistic analysis of Gong Xiaoting's selected piano suite and summarize her compositional style from the following perspectives. An integration of Chinese compositional techniques with Western music element and the influence of Impressionism, the explanations of scenery depiction through musical element and the application of Chinese regional style music. Gong Xiaoting, the Chinese composer, was born in 1970 to a musical family of Beijing. She started to study the art of composition from an early age. She was influenced by her father, Gong Yangnian, who is a renowned composer and theorist in China. In 1988, she was admitted into the Central Conservatory of Music in China, where she received her bachelor's and master's degree in composition over the course of seven years. Since then, she continues to serve as a professor of music theory and composition techniques at the Central Conservatory of Music in China. In 2002, she earned a Chinese government scholarship and went to study at the National Separate Conservatory of Music in Paris as a visiting scholar. This was a good opportunity for her to access to Western musical culture, which played the foundation for her compositions later. When I talked to Gong Xiaoting on the phone, she is a very nice woman. When I ask her if I can get her permission to analyze her music, she was so happy and encouraged me to do this research. And then she gave me some valuable suggestions for my dissertation. Gong Xiaoting has dedicated a great deal of effort into her music career. Whether in the area of compositional studies or teaching experience, she showed her creative talent much earlier than people of her age. Gong Xiaoting's music is renowned based on the Chinese traditional music aesthetic as well as the deep understanding of traditional Chinese culture. As some Chinese music critics say, her music style is new, but not odd. Beautiful, but not vulgar. She composed a variety of music works in different genres, including chamber music, symphonic music, vocal music, 
and the piano works. Among these genres, piano works play an essential role in her compositional career. Night is cloud reflected in water, new lyrical piano music is a collection of piano works by Gong Xiaoping. There are the most representative piano works from this book. We can see from this list, her piano works include prelude and fugues, impromptus, piano suite, and piano solo works. Because the time limitation, today I only focus on anal analyzing her remarkable compositional features from her uh, piano suite, which is titled Five Paintings in Light Color, and a fugue, which is Any Dance. The piano suite Five Paintings in Light Color which depict the natural view by acoustical imaginary and symbolism. An Indie Dance, which is a fugue with Chinese ethnic minorities folk tune flavor. Now I'm talking about Five Paintings Light Color. Five Paintings Light Color is a piano suite that consists of five short pieces which are respectively titled Snow, Murmuring of Flowing Water, Rosy Cloud, Fog, and Dance. Gong Xiaoting suggests that music, paintings, and literature are interlinked. In terms of impressionist paintings, the most unique characteristic might be the change of light and color that is used to express the impression captured by the artist in the movement. In this sense, Gong Xiaoting achieves the same result musically using a variety of methods. This piano suite can be connected with the concept of impressionism to interpret Gong Xiaoting's music ideas in which she employed impressionist compositional techniques to capture the moment of nature science with Chinese flavor. First, I'm going to talk about the first movement, Snow. The title was inspired by the glistening light reflected on the snow by sunlight. It's written in a ternary form and based on the pentatonic technique. Snow is dominated by the horizontal melody, which is different from the vertical chord progression of Western music. Gong Xiaoting altered various pentatonic moods to reflect the change of snow scenery. It features the horizontal melody line. Also, she utilizes strategies similar as the BOC style by applying parallelism and the superimposed chord to think in the melody line. Before moving on to the analysis of characteristics of snow, it's necessary to introduce the basic knowledge of Chinese pentatonic scale for better understanding Gong Xiaoting's compositional idea. When comparing Western major and minor scales, the pentatonic scale is a musical scale with five notes per octave, which are called Gong, Sha, Jie, Zhi, Yu in Chinese. They are widely used in the most of Chinese music. The five tone scale is equivalent to the syllable name Do, Re, Mi. So and La, respectively, in Western music theory. And the interval relationships between the five tones are fixed. The fixed interval relationship between each other that we can understand as follows. Gong Shang, major second. Shang Jue, major second. Jue Zhi, minor third. Zhi Yu, major second. Thus, it would be easy to identify the whole tone by recognizing the intervallic relationship and to confirm the mood. Also, 
any of the five tones from the scale can be regarded as tonic, which can constitute five different moods based on the fixed interval relationship. For the Chinese pentatonic-based heptatonic scale, it's added a different four partial notes, which are qingjue, bianzhi, ren, and biangong. Thus, it can be categorized as qingyue scale, yangyue scale, and yangyue scale by adding two of four different partial notes between jue and zhi, yu and gong, respectively. As figures shows us, in the Si Gong system, the first figure is Qing Yue scale. It's added Qing Jue and Bian Gong, which is C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. The second one is Ya Yue scale. It's added Bian Zhi and Bian Gong, which is C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, and B. For the last one is Yan Yue scale. It's added Qing Jue and Ren, which is C, D, E, F, G, A, and B flat. Now let's look at an example from first movement snow. I choose an excerpt from Snow of Her Five Paintings in Light Color as an example to demonstrate the pentatonic scale theory Gong Xiaoting used for her music. From manner 3 to 4, take melody in the left hand as an example. After we rearrange re this note based on the rule and the interval relationship of pentatonic based heptatonic scale, we can confirm that the home tone is G, which is G, A, B, C, D, E, and F in G Gong system. According to the rule of heptatonic scale, the melody in left hand is G Gong Yan Yue mode. Now I'm going to demonstrate the melody in left hand. The linear melody for both hands are in the same gong system for these measures. But right hand starts with B. B is the third pitch of Ji gong system, so the melody in right hand is B Jue mood. And they are in the same gong system. When we play them together, it sounds harmonious. Now I'm going to demonstrate this excerpt with both hands. thematic materials in the beginning phrase from measure 1 to measure 8. The thematic melody is dominated by the right hand. The 16th note throughout the section A pull the melody forward until the climax. The continuity and uninterruptedness of the melody is another important feature of Chinese national music. In this piece, the phrasing within the theme can be as long as eight measures, and the thematic motive about two measures long precede each sequence. It can be seen from this excerpt that the motive modulates every two measures from C sharp jue to B jue to F sharp jue and then end with A yu in the measure A. The thematic melody modulate three times within eight measures and end up finishing on the A yu mood in a different gong system. That is how did she use a variety of pentatonic mood 
to represent the different crystal light reflected by the sun on the snow. Now I'm going to demonstrate the first eight bars. Most of Chinese music is dominated by the linear melody. Thinking melody by building the interval of chord, texture changing are important compositional strategy for the climax in Gong Xiaoting's music. The development begins with the primary theme and then develops by changing the texture of right hand. This turns the melodic line into vertical intervals and chord, which drives its way to the climax. We can play from the excerpt that the melody line is dominated by vertical force and quarter chord, which influenced with Debussy's compositional strategy. It's common to see the parallel force and the superposed chord in Debussy's works. Debussy's use of parallelism creates the atmosphere of specialness and acoustic colors. Since the intervals of a major second, perfect force, and a perfect phase are representative of intervals that exist in the pentatonic mood, this kind of superimposed chordal structure is another compositional vehicle that embodies the national characters of China. Now, let's listen to the first piece of five paintings in light color, Snow. Now, I would like to talk about the second movement, Murmuring of Flowing Water. It's composed with a simple melody, but it features national musical element and a literary spread, which reflected the imitation of Chinese traditional instrument and the symbolism. Gu Xiaoting depicts the second paintings through the change of different rhythmic figures as well as musical accent and imitations of Gu Qing's timbre. A series of compositional strategy intends to invoke audience acoustical imagination. 
The plucking instrument on this picture is Gu Qin. It's a traditional Chinese plucked instrument with seven strings. As we can see from the beginning phrase, the melody in the left hand is imitated a timbre of Gu Qin. Due to Gu Qin as one of Chinese overtone instruments are based on the just intonation. So the melody for this piece is composed based on the frame of perfect fourths and fifths. Also, Gong Xiaoting applied two hairpins that is pretty close to each other in left hand melody, where she intends to mimic different ways of Gu Qin's articulation in order to achieve the imitation of Gu Qin's intonation. It's called Yi Chang San Tai in Chinese. Let's listen to the timbre of Gu Qin from one of the most famous works, Mei Hua San Yu. Qin can represent literary music in Chinese Asian culture, which is often associated with the landscape paintings because of its timbre sound distant and deep. In Chinese culture, Chinese literates believe the aesthetic tendencies of Chinese landscape paintings like mountain, water, and Qin are similar to each other in spiritual temperament, which can be looked upon as a perfect blend. Gong Xiaoting brings audiences into the scene of landscape paintings through left-hand melody by creating a distant and quiet atmosphere. Let's listen to the melody in left hand to see how the composer imitate the timbre of Gu Qin. In the memory of flowing water, the ticking sound is imitated by a note in right hand melody. It can be seen from the excerpt. A note in the right hand imitates the sound of water dripping down the stream. The sound of water ticking is imitated by the A note, which are aligned with irregular accent. At the same time, we can notice that the eighth note are ornamented with non-functional note to build the interval of second. Chinese composer usually use ornament to enrich the sound effect of linear melody. Now I'm going to demonstrate the accompanying part in right hand. the development section, we can see from the screen, Gong Xiaoting intends to enhance the acoustic effect
by changing the eighth note to triplet in order to reflect how the splashing of the water becomes the flowing water. Increasing the note density is another common compositional technique for linear melody of Chinese compositions. Meanwhile, the melody in the left hand is lowered by perfect phase to create deeper song. Now, let's listen to the second piece, Memory of Boiling Water. Now, I would like to talk about the third movement, Rosy Cloud. Rosy Cloud is features inspiration from Chinese landscape paintings technique, heterophonic compositional technique, and the application of biotonality. First, as we can see from the screen, that Gong Xiaoting uses the combination of vertical chords and the linear melody to make the big sound in the beginning. As for the Chinese landscape paintings, Chinese painters like using outline and rendering painting scales to depict the landscape paintings. This involves the application of ink or light color to render the background, which makes the outline of object standing out clearly. In Rosy Cloud, Gong Xiaoting uses the superimposed chord progressions in the beginning to enhance the acoustic effect as background. That set off the following linear melody, which is non-plate and octuplate in measure three and measure six that I marked in the screen. It's more like a painter splash ink on the paper for color rendering. In this sense, we can hear the monophony melody more clearly. By this way, it creates the acoustic imagination that gave audience a sense of being from far to near. From the perspective of theory, it refers to the compositional technique, which is the application of heterophonic. That is the alternation between polyphony and monophony, which provide a kind of heterophonic harmonic level, such as voices split, 
fragment stratification, and long tone setting off. Basically, heterophonic is a synchronization of melody under the action of different parts, and is divided and combined in the development of the musical melody, which is a branch of melody that is mainly displayed through long tones. In music cloud, there are total 11 fermata as long tone to set off the following linear melody, which is played by polychord that appeared in the beginning of pieces for outline the sense of picture from far to near. Now, let's listen to the beginning phrase of Rosie Club. Another feature is biotonality. Biotonality is use of two tonalities or keys at the same time in different voices. This occurs more frequently in 20th century compositions, especially in French composers' works, like Holy Artifice by Debussy. However, in Gu Xiaoting's music, she employs biotonality but it was written based on the Chinese pentatonic scale to reflect the national element. This is the excerpt from development section. The top voice is based on the Yi Gong system, while the middle and the bass voice are based on the Di Gong system. And then it moves to the Ji Gong system for top voice. Each voice is aligned with different rhythm patterns. It achieved the layered sound effect by this technique, which makes the music more like a dialogue between clouds, so that the composer can also achieve personal vacation in music. Now I will be playing the entire piece of Rosie Cloud.
is the fourth movement of five paintings in that color. It's dominated by the linear melody throughout most of the piece. Gong Xiaoting depicts the image of endless fog by rapid, constant, circular arpeggios. Due to the studying experience in France, Gong Xiaoting admires Debussy's compositional style. Thus, some traces of Debussy's influence can be found in this movement. First, the melody is based on rapid arpeggios, quintuplet, sextuplet, and scales throughout most of the piece. As we can see from the excerpt, which is the beginning phrase that it starts with two ostinato sextuplet in the melodic line for the right hand. It is followed by quintuplet as a complement in the left hand, starting from measure two. The melody in the left hand shifts with different rhythmic patterns, including triplet, quintuplet, and sextuplet. This is done to represent the fox diffusion, which is inspired from Debussy's compositional aesthetic. In Debussy's music, he likes using the various of arpeggios to express the hazy beauty in his works, such as his prelude, brilliant, and holy artifice. Gong Xiaoting applies similar compositional strategy into this piece to achieve the hazy atmosphere. This is different from what most of Chinese composers usually do with arpeggios. Most of Chinese composers like employing the long arpeggios to mimic the sound of traditional Chinese party instrument instead of creating the color and atmosphere for their works. Now I'm going to play the beginning phrase of fog and say how Gong Xiaoting depicts the fusion of fog through arpeggios. Arpeggio, which is circular and interwoven with the perfect force and perfect fifths to form the undulating melody lines. The frame of perfect force and fifths is goes up by perfect fifths and then goes down by perfect force, which form the uh, uh, circular arpeggio. Another evidence of Debussy's influence is the climax of this piece which is swept across by interval of force, fifths in a repeat tempo. The texture becomes thick, and sound becomes more intense. The composer intended to weaken the tonal center by adding extra non-functional note, which symbolizes the fog is being hit by a strong wind. The other characteristic is the combination of melody and long constant arpeggios. This was inspired from Debussy's compositions. The bottom excerpt is from Debussy's Hoodie Artifice. It shows us that the long arpeggios is constantly dominated in left hand. The melody line is written in different rhythmic figures so it can be heard more clearly and a fluidity with constant arpeggios, a complement texture. Gong Xiaoting not only employs the same way in her fog, but also she uses biotonality to make the melody line more stand out, which reflects the sense of dialogue. As we can see the excerpt of fog, the top and bass line are written in different mode from the middle voice, while the ostinato line in the middle voice keeps the same motion with sextuplet.
imitating the constant fog as a background. It makes the top and bass line stand out. The top voice and bass line consist of triplet, dotted eighth note, and quarter note, which form a contrast with the ostinato in the middle line. Now I'm going to play the entire movement of fog. movement is dense. Due to the first four pieces are in the same style, which is full of elegant, gentle, and feminism color, Gong Xiaoting would like to increase the tension by the last movement. In my opinion, since the prevalence of landscape paintings in Chinese art, much of Chinese traditional paintings are centered on six common symbols, including mountains, water, cloud, trees, rocks, and people's life. In the preceding movement, images of snow, water, rosy cloud, and fog were utilized, which provide a series of objects that are commonly depicted by literary composers. I think it was composer's intent to use the dance to refer to the theme of people and life enriching the tension and characteristics for this particular suite. This piece is written on the tenor form, but the section B is developed by the three variations. This movement is a typical combination of Western compositional style and Chinese national musical element. Because Gong Xiaoting adopted 12 tone techniques to compose this piece, and receive inspiration from the ways of dealing with rhythmic technique by 20th century composers. Also, she adds the typical Chinese chord, 
like paper cord to enrich the texture. The melody are marked in the thematic materials. Now I'm going to demonstrate. developed by different ways during the development section, including building the interval based on the melody note, deform and modulate the melody, changing the rhythmic pattern and thinning the melody material by a superimposed chord when it arrived to the climax. When we move to the first variation, it can be found that the melody is thinking by perfect fours and fifths for linear melody as she did in Europe. However, in the second variation, the thematic melody is not only shifted to the left hand, but is thinking by interval of fifths and fours, so the frame of fours and fifths are inserted throughout her entire suite. As for the third variation scene, it's deformed and it becomes the scherzo style. The thematic melody is decorated by the 16th note with staccato articulation. Also, the single note in the left hand changed to the large square octaves with accent to increase tension for the arrival of climax. Chinese pipa chords are employed in this movement. The instrument on the left side is a traditional Chinese plunking instrument, pipa. Pipa chord is a kind of superimposed chord. It's consisted of interval of fourths and fifths. As I indicated in this excerpt, since it's one of the predominant chord in compositions for pipa, that is why we call it pipa chord in China. This kind of chord first appeared in the romantic music works. Then are employed in most of impressionistic and modernism music. Composers tried to use superimposed chord, non-triadic chords to diversify the musical harmonic language and reflect the compositional aesthetic of modernism. Therefore, Gong Xiaoting intends to use pipa chord passages to not only intense the acoustic effect with national element, but also create the tonal ambiguity. In the 20th century music, composers started to break the rule to compose in an innovative way. For example, in Stravinsky's sacrificial dance, Stravinsky employs two additional strategies to reduce meter to pause, which are rapidly changing meters and unpredictable note changing with rest. That was done to convey the sense of primitivism in the music. In this piece, Gong Xiaoting uses the same strategy to reflect that the people dance very naturally. As we can see from the excerpt, the meter is changed in every bar throughout the transi transition section. Also, the chord in the right hand changes irregularly, and the rest is alternated unpredictable with irregular accent, which drives the power toward to the climax. Gong Xiaoting applies the Tokpa style texture in the coda section for pushing the dynamics. Tokta refers to a freestyle that is categorized by repeat runs, four chord, and other virtuoso elements to show off performance techniques. In the coda section, it features a Tokta style texture in the development along with the energetic dynamics. 
accent markings are applied until the subdefinitism fortism appears, which introduces the climax of this movement. Therefore, the last movement is the representative of fusion of Chinese and Western music style. Now, let's listen to the last movement, dance. talk about Feng Xiaoting's fugue, which is Yi dance. This fugue is integrated with Chinese ethnic minorities flavor. I will analyze the features of this piece from this aspect as follows. Context of composition, conventional fugue form, linear melody feature, application of folk tune style. Yili refers to the Yili Kazakh Autonomous Prefecture of Xinjiang in China. It's located in the northwest of China. China has a vast territory. Every region has its own distinctive ethnic culture and the musical style. So it provides piano compositions with a wide variety of folk music materials. Most of earlier Chinese piano works were adapted from Chinese folk music. As a young generation of composer, Gong Xiaoting integrated the Xinjiang folk musical element into conventional fugue form to reflect the fusion of Chinese and the Western musical style. Local residents are from different ethnic minorities. Due to the special geographical location and diverse regional culture, it endows people with a national characteristic of enthusiasm and tolerance, which is expressed in the style of music with cheerful and passionate. People are friendly, solidarity, 
and good at dancing and singing. There are a lot of folk songs with a strong Xinjiang ethnic flavor that are passed through generations. In this sense, some Chinese composers take the folk tunes as resources for composition and inherit ethnic musical elements and compositional features in their compositions, which made their compositions more recognizable with a strong ethnic minority flavor. Next, let's watch the Xinjiang dance and listen to the music. One of popular Xinjiang folk dance is called Lift Up Your View. After listening to Xinjiang folk music, we can not only feel the vividness atmosphere and their optimistic attitude toward life, we can also feel some unique Xinjiang folk musical features that are reflected in the aspect of rhythm and melody. Now I would like to talk about how Gong Xiaoting employed these national features in her fugue, Ili Dance. Ili Dance is composed in the conventional fugue form. As you can see from the excerpt, that the subject response, which was imitated at different pitches completely and clearly. The subject is lost for eight bars, and there is a short bridge connected with response. Although it was composed in a conventional fugue form with two simple voices, there are some national musical elements are worth analyzing. Now I'm going to demonstrate the subject response first. For the national element of Ili dance, first I'd like to talk about the application of repetition feature in the subject of fugue. It can be seen from the excerpt, the repetition of theme note in the subject has been highlighted in blue. This is one of the remarkable features in Xinjiang folk music. It imitates some traditional Xinjiang plucky instrument, such as Dongbula, Huobusi, since most of accompaniment instruments are plucky instrument, string instrument, or percussion instrument, this kind of instrument are featured of playing on the same note with a faster rhythmic pattern in Xinjiang dance. For piano compositions, composers usually use the repetition of same note and element to mimic the ways of performing this instrument and reflect brisk feature of Xinjiang dance. In addition to the feature of note repetition, Gong Xiaoting intended to reveal the special design for the motif of subject. Since E is a tonal center, Gong Xiaoting takes E as the axis of symmetry to build up the perfect force going up and the perfect face by going down. Also, we can notice that the sixth and seventh degree of the subject, C nature and D nature in the measure three, are lowered a half step while the melody ascend. The sixth and seventh degree returns to the C sharp and D sharp while the melody descend. However, for melodic major scale in Western music theory, the sixth and seventh degree are supposed to be lowered a half step while the melody descend. So this is opposite to a primary rule established in Western music. In addition, for Xinjiang folk music style, moving up and down by step 
is a common feature, particularly in the Kyrgyz minority group of Xinjiang area. This pattern within the third provided one of the common ways of developing the melody in most of Xinjiang folk songs. This often happened after jumping up or down, and then the melody is moving by stepping up or down in opposite directions. It can be seen from the subject after fourth, fifth, and sixth, the followed melody mainly consists of stepwise movement within the third, which follows the idea of folk tunes in Xinjiang style as well. For the rhythm pattern, syncopated and dotted rhythm pattern is another important characteristic in Xinjiang dance. First, they usually use the syncopated rhythm to represent the percussion instrument, like a tambourine. In addition, the rhythm of folk songs is heavily influenced by the local language. People are accustomed to placing the accent on the last syllable of word. Therefore, the syncopated rhythm appeared in the Xinjiang music and dance in order to be consistent with the lyrics. In matter three, Gong Xiaoting employs dotted and syncopated pattern and put the last note of the first half of subject on the strong beat to reflect this idiom of regional music. Gong Xiaoting employs the frame of fourths and fifths throughout most of her music works. This movement is no exception. As we can see from this example, the frame of perfect fourths and fifths are interwoven in this movement as well. It goes up by perfect fifths and then goes down by perfect fours, which is not only form the circular arpeggio, but also change the rhythmic pattern from eighth note to sixteenth note figure in order to symbolize the rapid wording at the end of Xinjiang dance. The wording of Xinjiang dance as an important part is usually happened in the coda section and stopped suddenly to signify the end. Gong Xiaoting reflects this feature through her music. We can see from the bottom line that the continuous 16th note passage drives the emotion to the climax, which triggers audience to mentally verbalize the wording of Xinjiang dance. Also, she employed a stratal compositional technique to compact the melody and increase the density of note. Then it promotes the vivid atmosphere of Xinjiang dance style and signals the arrival of the fugue's conclusion in climax fashion. Let's watch the video about wording of Xinjiang dance. Now I'm going to play the coda section to see how Gu Xiaoting imitates the wording of Xinjiang dance in her field. Point I just talked about are the distinctive national element Gong Xiaoting used for her music. Now let's listen to the field Ili dance. Thank you. 
in the two different genres of works studied in this research. Gong Xiaoting's compositional style is diversified with different aesthetic and compositional characteristics. In my research, I mainly demonstrated how Gong Xiaoting uses the musical language and her own compositional strategy to reflect her interpretation of symbolism and express the spread of literary music through her five paintings in light color. Also, I explored her innovative ways to integrate the folk musical element into traditional type of view form through Eddie dance. From the perspective of piano pedagogy, both of piano works are good materials for piano students to learn. I categorize both works in different levels of difficulty. For five paintings in light color, it belongs to professional level. There are some points, such as long arpeggios passages, set to play against the quintuplate, and a rapid vertical chord progression of five paintings in light color which would be a good material for students who are in the intermediate level to improve technique and finger skills. Also, students can grow up musically through deep understanding of the context of compositions and composing ideas. As for Eddie dance, it will be helpful for some students who have just started learning the fugue. They could learn how to recognize the part of subject response and how to balance the volume between both hands through this piece. This dissertation would be instructive and inspirational for piano instructors. Based on the analysis of context and national characteristics for each piece, they would be better to guide students for practicing whether in the aspect of musical expression or techniques. Hope Gong Xiaoting's music will gain more attention and be performed regularly by students and pianists all over the world. These are references I used for my dissertation. to my lecture recital. I would like to express my gratitude to my committee chair, Dr. Silva, who has always been giving me invaluable editing suggestions and guidance for my proposal and dissertation. I couldn't complete this dissertation without your assistance and encouragement. I would like to express my gratitude to my committee members, Dr. Monson and Dr. Robinson and Dr. Balakaskia. I appreciate that you were willing to serve on my committee and giving me so much help during my graduate and doctoral study. I would like to sincerely thank my dearest professor, Dr. Anna Balakaskia. It's my honor to be your student. I appreciate your warmest support and your guidance on piano performance in the past seven years. I would like to thank all of you who attend my lecture recital. Hope everyone enjoys the rest of your night. Thank you.